I was in the media center today while my colleague Brenda Rodriguez was in the maximum security prison for the execution. After submitting her name online with IDOC, Brenda was one of the reporters chosen as a witness through a lottery system. I'm going to bring in Brenda now. Brenda, you had eyes and ears, you know, all morning for about an hour and a half uh, as this was playing out. What was Creech's demeanor kind of from point A to the end? Now, I think it's important to mention uh, he was brought in, uh, strapped on a gurney mm -hmm. first, and then he was lifted onto the execution uh, table. That was actually the first time we got a glimpse of his face. And I will say, Morgan, he looked nervous. From mm -hmm. what I can see, he looked nervous. It was an uneasy uh, experience just seeing him uh, for the first time. But I will say he had his eyes locked um, looking over to his family uh, and, and just waving at him. He was strapped to the gurney again, but his fingers were able to move. So he it just kept his eyes on his family the entire time. You mentioned he was, he made like a snoring noise and the director of the Department of Corrections said that he had been given a sedative. He was up all night with his family and even speaking with a spiritual advisor and he was given a sedative and was really tired. Yeah. I'm sure you noticed that. Yeah, too. yeah. So, and this would happen especially after the those uh, attempts to to administer the the IVs. After that, he would uh, snore. He would. It almost appeared like he would fall asleep and then wake up again. Um, hmm. and, and yeah, he he also twitched a lot after he or when he appeared to be sleeping. Interesting. Did he yeah. say anything? There was a couple of times he mumbled a lot uh, over to his family specifically. Um, I was able to make out two of uh, the, the things that he said. Um, this was before at 10, 11, um, I'm sorry, 10, uh, 06, right before that first IV was inserted, he said, uh, or mumbled rather, I'm sorry to his family. Um, then a couple of IVs, uh, failed attempts really later, he uh, looked over to his family and said, I love you. Wow. So he didn't have any last words. No, we didn't get that far. Okay. Yeah. So uh, after those, uh, we the attempt was eight times. Yeah. Um, after that, uh, they they or I guess I should back up here. It was two uh, attempts for uh, the right arm, the left arm, the right leg, and the left leg as well. And uh, uh, yeah, so we didn't get to the full process where he was able to give that statement. Right. You're supposed to say that they 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 plan for that after the mm -hmm. IV is inserted. Right. Um, one thing that was noted during the press conference was the medical staff. And now these are anonymous people. Um, we will never know their identities, but they are people who work in the professional field uh, in healthcare. They do have experience with IVs and catheters. Uh, what what was their appearance? Yeah, so from the very start of uh, this process, they were fully covered. You All you mm. can see is their eyes, really. Uh, they were covered in a white cloth, um, and then they had their safety goggles on as well, so you could only see that. Um, I will mention, though, uh, as they were going on with this procedure, I did see that they were a little shaky. It almost mm. felt like they were nervous. Um, after those, after really the seventh attempt um, is really when they felt, uh, it almost felt tense in there. Mm, like um, they were frustrated like maybe. They were frustrated, okay. yes. And again, that's the biggest thing I noticed. They, it was a very shaky moment. Okay, and how many were there? There were three of them. There was a head person. Yes, and, and then, then two, two assistants um, right next to him. Okay, and there is, there is a whole list of qualifications that these individuals have to abide by. There's just a standard operating protocol that IDOC adheres to and and we have that and that's also publicly available on IDOC's website. Um, but T. Walt did say every single member of IDOC's administrative team allowed these people and the medical staff to administer IVs to them and that he fully trusted them and he yeah. was confident and they go through a lot of training to mm -hmm. do these types of things. Yeah. So, all right, Brenda, we appreciate your reporting. We appreciate you being in there today. And I know that we have a lot more. If you guys want to watch the full press conference where Brenda shared her remarks, that's on our website, ktvb.com. Appreciate it.